So I'm starting off with um, foundation and concealer on because I want to jump right into the um, powder application and everything. So I have the Chanel Sublimage um, foundation on and I have my By Terry um, Terribly Densilis concealer on. These two things I know I love work really, really well. So I think they'll be a good sort of base for this uh, test this review. So what I'm going to do is on half of my face I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush uh, Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder. It's one that you know that I love and I think it'll be um, sort of a good comparison for the new La Mer pressed powder. So uh, let me go ahead and just apply this to the right side of my face and I'm going to apply it as I normally do. I'm going to take my uh, kind of pointy brush here. This is a Morphe M438 and I'm going to just roll it into the powder, tap off excess, and then roll that over uh, where I've concealed. I'm also going to apply it around my nose. I put some concealer there too. I've been having weird allergy attacks lately. So anyway, my nose has been really, really red from me blowing it. So I put some concealer there. So I'm just going to apply the powder over the right side of my nose. And then I'm taking um, just a fluffy uh, face brush and I'm going to dip into the Charlotte Tilbury powder and lightly dust that all over the right side of my face. All right, so let's do the same thing to the left side of my face, but using the La Mer powder. I have it in the shade Light 12. I'm gonna clean off the two brushes that I just used in my Veramona color switch here and use the same brushes. All right, so I'm gonna go into the La Mer powder. It is picking up product nicely, not too powdery, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna press and roll and over and then also add some to the left side of my nose here there's a very very faint fragrance very faint okay and then i'm going to take the uh, same face brush and dip into the powder knock off excess and then just lightly sweep that over the left side of my face here So upon first observation, I feel like both sides look fairly similar. I don't feel like one side is any more radiant. I don't feel like one side is any more matte or powdery looking. So I just wanted to swatch them. This is the Charlotte Tilbury and this is the um, La Mer. So you can see the Charlotte Tilbury is a bit paler, but it feels um, silkier than the La Mer. The La Mer feels very, very silky, but not quite as fine as the Tilbury. So those are my first observations. What I'm gonna do is put on the rest of my makeup. I am very curious to see how my under eyes look after a couple hours, after a full day. Um, so let me do that and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I've put on the rest of my makeup and by looking at my um, powder situation so far, I feel like both sides of my face look fine. Um, the under eye especially, I feel like look very, very uh, similar. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning. So I've had this on already since about 8.30, let's say. So I've had it on for about 30 minutes. So far, so good. No surprises. So I'll be back midday to give you my first check-in. I'll see you then. Hey guys, it's about 5 p.m. I did a check-in, but I lost the footage somehow. So anyway, I was outside at that point and I did give you a pretty good view of my under eyes, but I'm sorry, that footage is now gone. <laughs> anyway, so I thought this was most important anyway. Uh, I've had this on for nine hours now and um, if I were to take a very close look at just my under eyes, my first observation is that this mascara, which is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, has flaked a little bit, but we're not talking about that. Um, I think what's interesting is I feel like under this eye, which was what I used the Charlotte Tilbury on. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury was on the right side, La Mer was on the left, and um, I feel like it's just kind of gone. I feel like I can see um, my little eye wrinkles um, underneath my eye here. I don't find that they're emphasized at all. I just feel like they're just 
there. So I feel like the powder and any concealer that I had on maybe is just gone. Now on the La Mer side, um, I feel like the powder is still there and I feel like it's kept my concealer there, but I feel like it's looking a little bit um, like powdery, like it's sort of started to appear. I definitely was sweating a bit today because I was out and about and it was really hot in the sun. So I feel like the powder maybe has uh, more staying power than the Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't know that it actually looks any better, if that makes any sense, because I can actually see the powder and it looks like it's kind of a little bit cakey right in here. So that would be my first impression of it, is that it does seem to have longer staying power but I don't know if that necessarily is a good thing because I feel like with the Charlotte Tilbury powder um, if it's gone then you can very easily kind of reapply and it never really ends up looking kind of old like this but I feel like if I were to reapply powder on top of this cakiness situation that it may not look good in fact let's give that a shot right now I'm gonna take the same uh, kind of pointed brush that I used before and dab it in and I'm just going to lightly brush it. I'm not gonna press it. I'm just gonna kind of brush it on top. Yeah, I feel like it made this part of my, this part that looked cakey, I feel like it just looks a little powdery now. Like the powder is just sort of sitting on top, but that's it. And if you look around my nose, you can see that this nose is has a little bit more reddishness to it. So the Charlotte Tilbury definitely has faded along with the concealer here and I feel like this powder kind of kept that concealer there a little bit longer. So maybe this powder is a little bit uh, better for setting you know around my nose or anywhere else that you've concealed on your face but maybe not necessarily underneath the eyes. Um, I will definitely have to give it another shot under the eyes but this seems to have a longer staying power than the Charlotte Tilbury which is pretty exciting um, because I think the initial application, they looked fairly similar and I love the Charlotte Tilbury. So dare I say that this may be a bit better than the Charlotte Tilbury? So just to give you my final thoughts, I thought that the La Mer powder went on very, very nicely. I thought it set my concealer really well. I thought it finished my face really nicely. It even set my foundation down very, very nicely. Um, and I like the texture of it. And I think this color light 12 is like sheer enough and translucent enough um, on my skin tone so that it, it's not like, I don't feel like it altered my foundation shade at all. Um, it's definitely very far from any sort of like powder foundation. This is definitely just a sheer pressed powder. So I really liked it for setting down my concealer. And as you just heard me sort of observe, it seems to have um, a longer staying power than the Charlotte Tilbury, which is a lovely powder. It's very light. It's been my favorite. Um, and I like the effect of the long lastingness around my nose. Um, you can see how much redder my Charlotte Tilbury side is. But in terms of under the eye, I feel like that long lastingness kind of translated into a little bit of cakiness. So I'm gonna keep trying it under the eyes, but for now, that's sort of my first impression, and I think what I'm gonna do going forward is sort of set my face with this, but I'm gonna set my under eye with this because it's a little bit lighter. Um, this is just, I mean, it, by far, it's not heavy at all. It's incredibly finely milled, it's incredibly light, um, but this just happens to be a little bit lighter in texture. It's just finer if you will. And I like this. I really like this a lot. I'm going to keep using it. I am going to definitely keep trying it under the eye and I will definitely report back um, my thoughts on this. I'll probably mention it maybe in my monthly favorites or whatever. That's a whole month and I think that'll give me enough time to really get a sense of this powder. But so far so good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below if you have any questions about this powder or if you've purchased it, what your thoughts are. And please subscribe down below if you haven't. I will see you in my next video.